Hey, Jim Parr here, and we're talking to you about adding SEO to your car dealer website today. So CDK is kind of the vendor for a lot of dealerships and provide a platform for your website. So if you have a Cobalt or a CDK website, we're going to show you how to add the SEO into your next gen website, which is the newest version of CDK. We do it all the time. We manage a lot of different sites. We see traffic double in over 12 months um, at one fixed fee. We charge one fixed retainer fee to do SEO, to do social media. We post over 300 social posts of your inventory and different things like that into your website as a service to you. And it's a low cost uh, amount that adds a lot of added value, especially in the SEO because we build a lot of landing pages into your website, which a lot of dealerships just go with that generic uh, templated uh, look that CDK offers. You pick between five different templates, but we add your brand identity in there. So we add your images, make your site look like the dealership that you are and give it a better look. But not only that, the most important thing is generating traffic. Somebody's looking for a car for sale, a Silverado, a Lexus, whatever. That's how we pull in uh, your website traffic and get those leads converting. We've seen a website that we manage right now go from about 150 calls up to, uh, or 150 emails up to 900 a month. So um, this is a great service that we offer, but I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to show you how to do it. If you don't want to do it on a regular basis because you need to, on a regular basis, a weekly basis, uh, contact us in the link below um, and we'll send you a proposal and be happy to work with you individually. So we're gonna dive in right now and get into the SEO part of it and I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do this for your own self. So let's go. So here we are, we're logged into the dealer command center on your uh, CDK website. So this is a Chevrolet site, and uh, it's what you're going to do. Let's just, uh, I want to give you some, uh, a little bit about the back end of the website. But the primary thing that we're going to be showing you is adding SEO to your website. So in the dashboard here in the command center, you've got options depending on what services you subscribe to. One rule, really cool thing is this reputation management. So when you go in there, you can actually log in there and you have access to your social media. So when you get in here, go to the little hamburger deal here and go to publishers. So you can plan out your social media schedule over the next um, uh, matter of months or what we do is we do it over the month. So as you can see here, this is what's posting today. So if we click on this, you can see that we added a post that will be posting today. So this in particular is the Z71 and uh, you can add all your hashtags. But if you look at this in the back end, you can actually edit this. But here's where you add your photo, your video, and you can schedule it out to whatever date and time that you want to just by clicking on the schedule. And, uh, and you can even add some SEO into here. When you add the photo, it's going to ask for your alternative description or what we call an alt tag. So um, as you can see here, there's a real in-depth schedule of uh, the uh, social media. So we post to Facebook, we post to Twitter, we post to Google+. Plus and we even do uh, Google Images. So this is a really cool setup. You just copy and paste your content like you would be doing in Facebook, Twitter, or whatever, and select the icon here um, that you wanna go into. It can even go into Blogger, and then you just click Save. So that's the back end of that. But if we go back to the home here into the Dealer Command Center, and we go to uh, analytics. Analytics is going to let you see what your SEO is doing or what your landing pages are doing. And so uh, you probably have already gone in there and seen a lot of those tools. We'll do another video that kind of explains that more in depth. But we're going to go into the website. 
And once we get into the website, I'm going to show you how we can go in there and actually uh, add SEO. So if you go to the SEO tab up here, once you're in there, you can go to the meta editor. So on the left hand column here, you can see what's going on. You can see how the keywords have gone up here. Um, so we have four, over 4,000 uh, organic visits um, and uh, that's from organic keywords. So you can see how it's kind of gone up and up and up. And if we looked at this over a, a further length of time, they were way down in the bottom here before we started with them a couple years ago. And, uh, and so they've been increasing all the time here. But if we go into the meta editor, we can actually go in here and see where to add different things. So up here in the top right is the view. So here's the profit center. So these are your main pages, your contact page, your home page, whatever it is. So you can add SEO in there. But uh, what we do is we create these landing pages, what we showed you in another video. So if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see um, those landing pages and just look under the CDK landing pages. So is what we do is we develop these landing pages. These are all custom. So we've got one Chevy Silverado versus F-150. So in this, you can actually go in and it's as simple as um, cl clicking on it. And uh, these percentages are going to pull in your dealer name your franchise, so if it's a Chevy dealer, if it's a GMC, if it's Lexus, whatever it is. But you can just go and pull all that out if you want because I haven't seen these work very well. But this is a landing page, so we could go in here and say, uh, and type in uh, Chevrolet um, Silverado. And if I can spell, uh, versus Ford F-150. And then you might uh, remember this is the title that goes into a page, like up in the tabs. So this is pulled and drawn very, very well from Google. So we probably want to put in here like Chevrolet um, Silverado. And this one is in... Uh, uh, let's see, Silverado for sale, and we're going to pick the uh, neighboring area in Birmingham, um, Birmingham, Alabama. So, and you may want to follow this up with your dealer name. So this is Tuscaloosa Chevrolet, and then over here you can add in your description, whatever you want, and then here's where you can add in your keywords. So. Um, in this particular deal, we're going to put Ford F-150 because we're doing a Silverado versus Ford F-150. And then remember you want to use long tail keywords. So long tail, these are short tail keywords, Silverado, Chevrolet, those are going to rank nationally. That's not going to do you anything locally. So we'll want to put in here Chevrolet for sale, um, Birmingham. And, uh, and so that's our neighboring community. And we can even put in Alabama Chevy dealer uh, and Chevy dealer Birmingham. So this is how you add in keywords. I don't recommend adding more than about six to 10 keywords in here. Keywords do show up, but not on all search engines. They don't have as much stance or power as the meta title and the meta description. So in uh, these two are the most popular right here. Um, so if we were to change this meta description, I would change it to some of the content that we put in Chevrolet Silverado versus F-150 so that you pull in those uh, people searching for the comparison, the Chevy against Ford. But that's how you do it. And just remember to save your information up in the top right here. But that's as simple as it is. Um, it's uh, You can even go into the model pages or other pages, whatever you check up here. 
But uh, the landing pages are going to be your best bet because those are pages you create mainly for SEO. So if you have any questions, um, this is Jim Parr from Parr Media Group. Uh, we specialize in automotive marketing and uh, especially ranking your sites on the website. We typically double your traffic uh, wherever you're at in 12 months, um, and that's website traffic. Um, and so if you have any questions, you want a free consultation or a strategy call with me, leave your comments below, uh, questions below, and I'd be happy to answer anything that you have uh, in particular. Thanks a lot, and uh, have an awesome day.